Thank you very much for joining us. Um, can you start by introducing yourself to us and your research area? Sure. Thank you very much for having us here at ISEF. Uh, my name is Octavian Partenia, and I work at TNO in the Netherlands in a department called Sustainable Energy and Process Systems. So for, for me, particularly, this conference was extremely relevant. Um, and I work as an energy transition consultant for industry. So we support industry uh, throughout the country in the Netherlands with their uh, emissions reduction ambitions, and we advise on which technologies are applicable for their particular situation. You're at ICEF this year and um, participating as one of the young researchers and uh, you have participated in the session CO2 utilization and energy productivity through IT and AI. How did you find these sessions? Both were very interesting for me. I think uh, CO2 utilization is an important component. It's an, uh, it has, can have an important contribution to uh, uh, emissions abatement because it's complementary to CO2 capture. And I think it will be very difficult to achieve the current targets we've set for emissions reduction without some form of either CO2 storage or utilization, or both preferably. And the second session was even more interesting for me because that's quite different from what I do normally for, for my own work. So uh, lots of topics that were discussed were, for me, rather eye-opening. And um, how do you think you can uh, utilize what you have gained at ISEF in your work when you go back? Ah, I like this question because we've just started a new project uh, and uh, uh, TNO will have a consulting role for a large industrial cluster uh, to help them define a strategy for 2030 and 2050 to reduce emissions from the site and a lot of the emissions that are currently, a lot of the CO2 that's currently being emitted is, is from the use of fuels for heat. So the recent roadmap for industrial decarbonization for industrial heat is extremely relevant for, for this project. I look forward to going through that document and also through the connections that I've made here to have access to, to more uh, detailed information. Yeah. How do you think that you could contribute to a conference such as ISEF into the future? I would very much like to perhaps have the opportunity in a, in a couple of years to also present one of the projects that we've done in the Netherlands and see if that could be an interesting template for industrial cooperation uh, here in Japan. How would you like to contribute personally um, in our joint efforts towards tackling climate change? Very interesting question. I think, well, I'm an engineer by background, so I think innovation is wonderful, but at the same time, I also strongly think that um, tackling climate change will require behavior changes. So if uh, besides my work, the way in which I contribute personally is by being a vegetarian. I uh, did not fly for a year and a half. I tried to make efforts in my own life to, such that I reduce my own footprint. And I think that's something that everybody could do.